Hi guys and welcome to a new Tinkercad tutorial. Um, what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you um, how to create your picture frame in Tinkercad. The area we've got here um, is the same size as your material that we prepared um, while we're in school. So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide upon the um, shape of your picture frame. So I'm just going to go from the top view here and I'm going to bring a box from the top like so. Now, what is a good thing to do is when we're doing this is just to click this button here because that will change the view to make it nice and flat at the moment. Um, it's not quite flat. So click that and all of a sudden it turns nice and flat. And we're just gonna then decide upon um, how big we want the picture frame. So having a rough guess, I'm gonna go for maybe 150 um, by 150. Again, your design will um, dictate the size of what, what you make yours. Actually, that might be a little bit too big. So let's just change that to 100 by 100. So yours could be a circle. It could be anything you want, uh, you want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just change the view. Um, go back to our isometric view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down just to three millimeters because that's the size of our material is the three millimeters uh, MDF, which we're cutting with. Go back to the top view. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to start to think about adding some detail. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to cut a section out where I would put the picture behind. So this could be a circle, it could be a square. Um, as long as you can view the picture through that, that is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a square on mine, I'm going to bring the box in again. This time I'm going to change the color so I can see it, maybe yellow. And I'm going to also click this so I can see nice from the top view again. What I do then is I'm going to, if that was 100 by 100, let's say, let's make this box uh, maybe 80. By, let's go for 80. See, that looks like. Let's move that into the center. Okay, so you can see it gives us a little bit of a border around the outside. Um, if you want more of a border, you can then reduce that down. So let's put 70. And then let's try the other one at 70 as well. And see, that looks like. So a lot of it is just trial and error. You can try different things, if it doesn't work, have another go. Now we need to get this in the center, okay? Easiest way to do that, we like to make things easy, is you highlight all of it. And then we go to the top here, which is the align tool. And we want to align through the middle and want to align through that side. So it's right in the center, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick spin round to see where we are. Let's look at the left-hand side. And I can see that's going through the material. That's what I want. Okay, so it's gone through. If you want to adjust the, um, let's turn the line off there. If you want to adjust the height of it, this little cone here moves up and down. Just, just make sure it's going through. And what we want to do is we want to change this to a hole. Okay, and uh, remember that, that dashed square like the stripy one here, what that does is that removes that from the area there, which I'm gonna demonstrate you now. So highlight it all like that. Then just click this button here, group, and then we have the hole. And again, yours might be a different shape to mine. You might have a circle, you might do a triangle, okay? Whatever you want to design, you guys can do that. Now I'm gonna add some details onto mine here. So I'm just gonna get some circles. And again, I'm not gonna to be too precise with this. 
um, hold down the shift key to make sure that they both change um, the, the right shape together. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to duplicate it, click and move it, uh, make that a little bit smaller, like that. And then I'm going to click that one and I'm going to duplicate that one as well. Okay, is that a little bit smaller as well? Let's click from the top, see that we are right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to again change my view to isometric and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to click that and pull it down, not down that way. I want to adjust the height to three. Like that to three. Okay, and same with that one. Bring that down to three. And also that one as well. Bring that one down to three. Okay, so now if you look from the front, we can see we've got things that are that's a bit higher than that one. Okay, you want these to be touching the surface, this uh, construction plane here. Um, so we click that and we bring it down. So everything is on this uh, work plane here. So you can see this is the work plane and everything is in the right place. Now I'm going to just get these and I'm going to place them onto my uh, picture frame. So dead easy. You can click that. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Just tap the arrow left. Okay, and then you can go up. Um, or you can click it and hold down the shift key and drag it. Okay, the reason why I do that is because it keeps it in a nice straight line. And what I'm going to do now with these circles, I'm going to click that one, hold down the shift key, click that one, hold down the shift key, click that one. All those three are selected. I get the align tool and I'm going to align them all so they're all nice and centered. And I might just move that one up a little bit to like there. Okay, let's try and get those a bit more even. So that looks about right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that one, hold down the shift key, click that one and that one, and I'm going to merge them together. And then I'm going to do the same, click the duplicate, and I'm going to bring that across by holding the shift key across to this side. Okay like so just trying to get them even okay that looks about right um and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, just add some more little designs along the top here of my picture frame so again what i'm going to do this time is get the circle tool bring it in again and make some small circles I'm probably going to pop those along here somewhere like that. But again, I'm going to spin that to there. Do what I did before. Click it, bring it down to three. And just check my views. Okay, that's fine. That side is left okay. Yep. Yeah. And then back. Okay, everything's flat. It's important that, that everything is flat along here. Really important that. So let's go back, let's look at the top again. Spin round, oops. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, and this time I'm gonna get that, click it, I'm gonna move it a little bit to there, and then press duplicate again. Now that's a nice feature about Tinkad, is you can do that and it'll duplicate at the same distance. So I can see I've got a little gap here. So all I'm gonna do is click them, hold down the shift key so that they all stay together. And again, I'm just, with this design, I am just freestyling it a little bit. You guys have probably got your designs and your sketchbooks that you want to create. Um, I'm just working free with this just to come up with some ideas. So what you can do now with this is, now we've got some patterns around the edge. Um, you could take bits out of here as well if you wanted to, um, like we've shown you before. You can take sections out. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get this and I'm just going to highlight all of it. And I'm going to click group. OK, 
okay, to give me a nice shape for the outside of my pitch frame. Right, so that's that bit, that's the pitch frame done. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some, some features that I can stick onto here to make it look more interesting. So what I will do is I will then just pop that there out of the way. I'm going to get another cylinder. And again, you can use any shape you want. Um, you can use the heart tool, you can use the um, tube, but make sure they are sort of not like this, sort of shapes of flat tops. And then I'm going to bring this in and I'm just going to bring it onto here, check that, yeah, I like that's a good size. Pop that one there. So again, let's spin to there. Let's change that to three. One, I need two of those, one for either side. So I'm just going to simply um, duplicate that and drag it. Okay, that would go there. I'll go there. Okay, like that. Look top view. So the idea would be to just put those there as features that would be seen, cut out separately, then stuck onto the front of the pitch frame, paint these a different colour. Um, so that I can go there. Then what I'm going to do is maybe I'm going to get another interesting shape here. So let's go for maybe the tube. Let's bring that in. Um, with the tube, it's nice because you can change things here, make it thinner, thicker, um, like that. Also, resize it a little bit. Again, go to the 3D and just check that you are working at three. That's fine there. Back to the top view. And again, I'm going to just duplicate that one like that. Okay, and that could go there as a feature to stick on and paint. And that could go there as well as a feature to go and stick on and paint. Yeah. So I've got my two features there that I'm going to stick on and paint. Um, I might want to do sort of a row of stars or stars and love hearts. So I'll just show you some stars quickly. Okay, let's make those a little bit smaller. Like that. And let's have a look up here. Maybe one could go like there. And let's do it a bit before. Duplicate that. Drag it. Move it. Then just click duplicate. Now we might need to move those a little bit because they are dropping down, but you can place them on like that. So that's what it would look like once it's all laser cut and assembled. Um, but what we have to do here is we have to just separate all the parts so that it can be all laser cut separately. So what I suggest you do is just get all the parts like this and pop them next to your work. So like this. So everything you want to be laser cut out just pop them on your work like this. So what would happen is the laser cutter would cut this out, cut those out as well. You'd paint those and then stick them on top of here. So anything you want to stick on top has to be separate and it has to be the right size as well, which is, which is three. So let's go back to the top view. Make sure you say is it picture frame um, laser cut. Laser cut like that. So that's that's how you create your file ready for laser cutting.